And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. One time Zoom shag. Number 200. Skyhawk. On 200 wartime Zoom shags. In the schus of the captives in the schus of the in the schus of the uh, soldiers, you know. It's a sham. We uh, to bring home the captives, you know. Okay, so we're in Beit Hamidstarim now. Shalom DVJ, Shalom Tati, Shalom Rivka, and so we're starting on Dav Dalit Amr Aleph Meseches Beitza. Itmar, it was stated, Shabbos Viyantif. Rav Amar Noda Beze Asur Beze, the Rav Yehuda Amar Noda Beze Muteres Beze. So Shabbos and Yantif, it seems to be his Machlokas, Rav and Rav Yochan. Now this is a Machlokas of Israel versus America. Because Rav Yochan was from Israel, not America, and Rav was from Bavel. And so Rav says, if it's born on this one, it's Usher on the next one. Either way. And Rav Yochan says that if it's born on this one, it's Mudder on the next one. Nema Kasava Rav Kedusha Achazi. So maybe the reason that Rav says that if it's Usr on this one, if it's born if it's born on this one, it's Usr to eat on the next one, because he holds that it's Kedusha Achazi. And again, are we talking about Yantiv, like Yantov Shani of Gullus, or are we talking about Rosh Hashanah? Now, Rosh Hashanah is a different reason. I did a little bit of research in this sugya, and it seems that Rosh Hashanah, it even in the time of Beis Hamikdash, they would sometimes be noheg two days of Yantiv, noheg and Ayom Kodesh and Machar Kodesh, and so it was a minag. That because if the aid came too late in the day to decide what day is uh is uh a new moon, and so it could become and so Rosh Hashanah was like its special thing and it's considered one long day. But is that what they're talking about? Kedusha Achaz? or are they talking about two yantivs in Gaulus? The Rav, I but doesn't do we have a statement of Rav in Erevin that says Alacha ka'arba zikenim ve'aliba de Rebbe Eliezer? So Alacha is like the four zikenim. You can say, wait a second, Shmuel. Who are these four zikenim? It's a Gemara in in Erevin. I think I saw it. I, I wanted to guess what Amud, but I'll just look at it. Erevin Lamiches Amud Beis. I was going to say Lamiches Amud Beis. No, I'm kidding. So, um, the Gemara mentions who the four Zikanim were. We don't have to mention it right this second. Maybe we will. I might want to see some other things. So, so the halacha, Rav says, look, is these four, like these four Zikanim, according to Rabbi Eliezer, that says that no, really, it's two Kedushos that came. Really, it's two Kedushos. Elohacha, rather here, fine. That's not what the argument is. The argument that no the bezeh, sura bezeh, no the bezeh, muteris bezeh, is not a machlokas of whether it's state kedushos or kedusha achas. Wait a second. So Shabbos and Yantiv, there's someone who holds that Shabbos and Yantiv is one kedusha. And what would the nafkamina be, Shabbos and Yantiv being one kedusha? If you so, push one off or the other, no. Well, 
it's talking about that like one is one day and one is the other day and the egg born on this day, what's the status of the next day? And so if Rav says Azar, so we're like, wait a second, does he think the Shabbos and Yadiv is one Kedusha? But wait a second, don't we see that it says Shtei Kedushos? I think it's obvious Shtei Kedushos. Why would we think that Shabbos and Yadiv is one Kedusha? We have to see there happens to be a Rambam here. So what's the Napkamina? of one Kedusha or two Kedushos. So it happens to be that we have a Rambam here. And without even going into the Rambam yet, we can check. It says Rambam, Maimonides, Perik Ches, Maimonides, Perik Ches, Meilchus Erevin, Allah Hey. You see that in the a Mishpat near Mitzvah? Hilchos Erevin. So we're like, wait a second. The Rabbah brings this down in Hilchos Erevin. We're going to have to see what the Rabbah says about it. But if we see this talking about Hilchos Erevin, so then what would the Nafkamina be? Shnei Kedusha is one Kedusha? Maybe if you make an Erev on this one, can you make an Erev? You used to make a different Erev on your different from Shabbos, maybe. We'll see. Erev Tavshilin. Oh, Erev Tavshil. So we got to see. Kedusha Achazi. So wait, so it's a thing. So rather, the argument between Rav and Rav Yochanan is in Hachana de Rava. The Machlokas is this idea of Hachana that Rava, that Rava had Hachana. That we saw that, that the Hachana of Rabbah is Hachana Bidei Shamayim. It's the Hachana that happens to the egg when it's in the tummy of the chicken. Kimifligi. Rav is Lehachana de Rabbah. Rav Yochanan lays Lehachana de Rabbah. So Rav holds of his Hachana de Rabbah and therefore it was prepared on Shabbos. It was born and even though it was, it was, Prepared on Shabbos for Yantif, born on this day, us the next day, we have to see. And Rabbi Yochanan doesn't have a Chana de Rabba. So the Gemara says, yeah, it's like a Tanai. And we're going to see this with the Gemara, we're going to see it in Rashi again. It says, Tanai. It's Machlokas Tanai. No, the Bishabbos, Tocha Biyantif. Biyantif, Tocha Bishabbos. Um, it's born on Yadiv. You can eat it on Shabbos. Sorry, it's born on Shabbos. You can eat it on Yadiv. But on Yadiv, uh, and on Yadiv, eat it on Shabbos. Rev Yoshua says, Mishum Rev Yezer, that a dayan hiba machlokas, it's still a machlokas. Rev Shamay omrim tocha, Rev Shamay omrim lo tocha. Rev Shamay says, eat. Rev Shamay says, do not eat. Okay. Okay. So now, the Abish will give us the Atta Nishmaya to understand this Misa, this Mimer. We're going to see with Rashi now. To Chaza. Itmar was stated. Shabbos the Yantiv. Shabbos and Yantiv. Hasmuchin, says Rashi, next to each other. Guadin Yantiv and Shabbos. And also, if it's the other way around, Yantiv and Shabbos. Rab Amar no the bezes or bezes. Rab says if it was born on this one, it's other on that one. And Rav Yochanan says if it's born on this one, it's mutter on that one. And the Gemara is going to bring two possible explanations. The first is that maybe they're arguing about whether Shabbos and Yantiv is one kedusha or two kedushas, and the second one is. That they're arguing about a Chana de Rabba. So let's see how that plays out. So Kedusha Achazi, Tarein Ki Yom Echad Aruch, it's like one long day. Arbazigative Aliba, the Rebbe Eliezer, is an Erevin, in Berak, Bekoma Arvin, in Dabla Bechaz, I'm based. Abishur will give us the Shmaya. 
to see that Gemara in Erevin. I mean, it's not, I saw it this morning. It just basically stands with those things. I mean, we can go to the Gemara in Erevin if we, if we see a need. But, but they say that there's two conditions, and that's how we bask in. It says, says Rashi, Umariv liyom echad the Mizrach sheni lemayrav. That you can make two different Arabs. I don't know if we bask in like this. But you can make two different Arabs on two different days. On Shabbos, you can say Arab that way. If you can say hey, Arab that way, give me 2,000 hours that way, 2,000 hours that way, I'll go visit my, far from my friends that live on the different sides of the flat earth. Um, so it is an Indian of Arab. Like we saw, we were dying from that Rabbah. It's a Chara de Rabbah. The Amar, that a Chara Bidei Shamayim is Azar from Yantif to Shabbos because through the Shabbos you need to prepare it from Chol. So you can't have a Surah Shabbos that's prepared from Yantef. That's the Chara de Rabbah. As um, Manu Diyom Chol, because there is a Katsuf. We need to because there is a Katsuf of when we see um, we see uh, the Man, the Mana. So, so they argue about can you eat it on Shabbos after Yantif the same way that they argue can you eat it if it was born Taka on Yantif? Right? That we saw at the beginning. Okay. So now, I wanted to uh, take this opportunity that we have Svarim. We can see a Rambam, Kamoshan Svarim. Baruch Hashem, David Shur, give us Yad Dishmaya to keep on, you know, getting. I want to get a Kovach Mefarshim eventually. And right now, we're just, we're still, we're, we're getting our toes into Ian, you know, and we're going a little deeper. And the David Shur, give us Yad Dishmaya. So the first Rambam is a Rambam that we've seen before. It's the Rambam in Ilchos Yantif, Barak Aleph, Halacha Yantet. That Chol, you prepare for Shabbos, but Shabbos, Shabbos, Chol can prepare for Shabbos and Chol can prepare for Yantif, but Shabbos is not prepared for Yantif. Yantif is not prepared for Shabbos. The Vilas, therefore, an egg that is born on Yantif after Shabbos is a surah. Even though the chicken is Omez is not Gila Hoyle Emesh Nigmara Abeza Nimsa that Shabbos prepares him for Go. Make me know so the Go be a Zura. Okay. So we have this idea of a Chara Bide Shamayim. And now, and now we're going to see that Rambam in Hilchos Erevin. A Rambam in Hilchos Erevin? What is Chus? I hope I'm able to find it. Ah, oh, found it. My body's parents says Ervin. Dad, I wasn't Zaycha to look up a Gemara, a Rambam in Hilchos Ervin my entire time in LA. I didn't have a Rambam on me. It's a big simcha. Looking up a Rambam in Hilchos Ervin, maybe we can see the nice day, Kalim. Shkaya. Nothing like a good nice day, Kalim, you know. Hey. Let's see what this Rambam is even saying over here. Ches, halacha, hey. Irvin, perk ches, halacha, hey. Yom tov, shechal, niyos, tamuch, l'shabim. A yon div that falls out close to Shabbos. Bein l'vana, bein l'achara, whether before it or after it. Or two yadis of Gullus. Yes, Lola Arabs, they a Ruben. Dad, did you ever hear this? The two, the two sided Arab? I never heard this. This is an Arab in Allah, I guess. That you can make two Arabs. The Rabbi of Pas getting this. Ah, DVJ is gone. Now we're just learning Rabbi of together. Ah, he's back. Um, Sorry, it's all good, and we're back. Um, so you can make two Arabs. The stay ruchos, the sobech, a zemehen, she yirtzal yom rishon. 
Not only can you say I'm going to go Shabbos to this guy, Yantip to this guy, you can say I'm going to go either Shabbos or Yantip to this guy, either Shabbos or Yantip to that guy, and make a game time decision, says the Rambam. So another Arab, you can make, you ever know, here's this law that you can make a two sided error, you can make two Arabs, the Rabbi Paskins, this is the halacha, both on Shabbos that falls out next to Yantif. You can make two Arabs on Shabbos and Yantif. Or two yantis of Gullahs, Yantis of Shani of Gullahs, you can make a two sided Arab. What does that mean, though? You make two Arabs, and one gives you al Paim to one side, one gives you al Paim to the other side. Remember, we're not talking about the Arab that the Rambam doesn't even believe exists. According to the Rambam, everyone who's so big on the Arab is Michal Shabbos, they right to every single Shabbos. Okay, but we're not Machmir. You know, let Am Yisrael do what they need to do to like carry and be Saimichan, you know. And so at least, still, at, at least we don't eat kidneys. At least we don't eat kidneys. And hey, it happens to be that the first time I ever saw the baby sister, she was she was being Saimichan the Rambam and not and she had a key on her lavush. And so it's a very praiseworthy thing. And so but obviously everyone at their own path, but what the Rambam is talking about that is obviously not an air of, of a wall or an air of, of a of a of like that line, but it's talking about air of that air of tough an air of tough or an air of that you can make a regular air of on like you make it on Eichel. The rabbis usually do it on matzah because it like stays. And hopefully Amir Sashtem in Yeshiva School Ashal, I'm not saying that it's gonna be in the next five Mesechtas, but Amir Sashem one day we'll learn Erevin. And before that, I want to learn Chulin, Lehalacha. But all these are Mesechtas that are not on my list in my head, so I can mention them. I know the next few Mesechtas we're going to do with things, you're going to say, my what you will. Okay, so you could make this Erev. <laughs> but then, Baramamurim, what is this talking about? Mishnei Yomim Tovim Shogalias. This is talking about Chutzlaret. Aval, Mishnei Yomim Tovim Shogalias. Shana, Harim Ki Yom Echad. This was my dad's big chiddush off the bat, Mesechus Beta, teaching us, right? I was like, I don't know. It seems to be the same reason. My dad's like, no, no, no. It's a huge nafkamina. And my dad said something about a nafkamina. Also, the Indian bit saying Shechianu, that you say Shechianu on the first day, on, on both days of Yantif, but you don't say Shechianu on the second day versus Shana because it's one long day. And that's why I like to make sure to have like a new fruit also, wear new clothes. Because it's Yom, yom Echad. We pass in this. The Eino Ma'ariv Lishnei Yom Im El Ruach Echad. Dad, Nafkamina, you can't make two Arabs to two sides. That's Rosh Hashanah. You got one Arab. It's a Yom Arichta. Even though it's also a Gezerah, and it's also because of a Sabbath, we don't know when it's going to be when it's going to be decided. But since Rosh Hashanah was, is the first day of the of the Yadim, or is the first day of the month, and even when the base of Mikdash is there, we were Mikadesh, the aid of Al Piriya, we had a minhag to make it two days just in case. And so that minhag stayed as like it became like one day, and the regular Yantif of Golos, which is like maybe like even like a, a, a harder something, is is a two day here and has an Afghamina for Arabin. This is a fascinating sugi that Amir Tashem will get even more clarity on. In the Masechta of Feitza. Okay, so that was a Gavaldic Rambam. So now we're going to say, well, we have a Rambam with the nice day, Kalin. And so let's hop around and see if there's anything. There's a Magid Mishnah. We'll take a look at the Magid Mishnah. I'll see it inside. The Magid Mishnah is like this. Yom Tov is Tomach the Shabbos. Yom Tov is close to Shabbos. This preparing the Kol Ma'ari Ma'arvin. Now, if I had my shas, so then I can we can look up the Arvin. But 
everything at the right time. I don't know about Amberly David. I don't know if I'm going to have it over there. Um, is one of those Gemaras. I don't know if, I, if like, I learned in Yeshiva and, and like having a separate... Oh, Rebethin. I have a shot up there if you can reach it. Oh, nice. So Erevin is is going to be in the first book. It's going to be an olive, hopefully. Be careful. Please don't fall. Okay. So, Vergoma uh, Erevin, Mishnah, Rav Eliezer, Omer, says, Yom Tov, Basom, Bachlashavet. Yom Tov, Basom, Bachlashavet, Yom Tov, Basom, Bachlashavet, Yom Tov, Basom, Bachlashavet, Yom Tov, Basom, Bachlashavet, Yom Tov, Basom, the Mizrach was saying in the Mara, the region of the Mara was saying in the Mizrach, the Arabe. Is Yomir of Tulabiches, please? I'm a Hesam base. The Arabe region of the Shady, given a hero of the Rabbin, Nakhla, Kuvin, Nipsi, Gualaka, the Gemara, Kurabi, as he's explaining the Gemara in Arabin. We could look it up. The Lovish name, Yavin, Dovin, Rosh Hashanah. Okay. Let's take a quick look because we wanted to see who are those pores that came in. Amar Rav Halacha Kedal and Zakeinu Halalu, Valgilat Bad the Rebbe Eliezer, the Amar Beis Kedusha was saying that Shabbos and Yadiv are different Kedushas, or that Yadiv takes Shayam and Tav Magoyos and takes Kedushim. The Elu ain't Dal and Zakeinim, right? I did not disappoint. I said we were going to find the Dal and Zakeinim in favor of Shem Yisrael. Just my, who are they? Rabbi Shmuel Megavlil, Rabbi Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Yochanan Ben Baruka, Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yosi, Bar Yehuda, Simbasa, the Igad Amri Chavinei, Rabbi Elazar. Rabbi Elazar was the son of Rishon Mayachai, I think. And he takes out Rabbi Yosi, Simbasa. Okay, so we saw this Gemara in Erevin, and we saw of this Gemara in Beitza, and we saw the Rambam, the beautiful Rambam that we saw. About the state kedushos, and it's Hashem to understand this concept for Rosh Hashanah. We'll we'll get a chance to maybe go deeper into this. You know, if we have the second Rosh Hashanah, uh, only up to Pesach. Okay, um, let's go right there. I know that my dad at DVJ and the Rebbitzin are all excited about this word. Ush ba zinche, right? What does it sound like? Ushbizin, we're going to see. So, Ushbizin, he's talking about his guest of Rav Adabar Abba. We have to see what exactly Ushbizin is. Sounds like Ushbizin, but there's a chaf in there. So, the Rav Adabar Abba, Havule, Hanach Beitzim, he had these eggs from Yantif to Shabbos. Azulik Kameh, he came before Rav Adabar Abba. Amaluhu Maule Atevinhu Ha'id. Now, let's fry him up tonight, today, right now. And we'll eat them tomorrow on Shabbos. Wait a second. He says to him, What is your what is your das? What are you what, what are you thinking? Rav, the Rabbi Yochanan, Allah the Rabbi Yochanan. What you think that oh the Allah is like Rabbi Yochanan that says that you can eat it on that day. Right? It's born on Shabbos. Shabbos the Yadiv is born on no according to Rabbi Yochanan. It's Muteris Bazaar. So we say, oh, what do you think? Oh, you're saying that you can eat it? You might be able to eat that egg, fry it up on Yandif, and eat it up on Shabbos? That was the egg that was born on Yandif? Why? Because Rabbi Yachanan, and we've asked him, like Rabbi Yachanan versus Rav, you think that's the reason? Afilu Rabbi Yachanan, lo kashari el legoma lamachar. Whoa, whoa, Even Rabbi Yachanan, in that case, is not kashari. He does not permit you to eat the egg. Ella, only that if it's born on Yandiv, you can then eat it raw the next day. Right? Um, legoma, which means to like swallow it. Like what? Like Rocky. Like Rocky. He's training, you know? Yeah, Wrestler. exactly. Like Rocky. Rocky's the boxer. And he drank eggs. And so um, it's mutter according to Yochanan. Aval biyome lo. But but on that day, he that day you can. So what do you mean lo? Biyome lo. On his day you can't. Does that mean you can't eat it on his day? Obviously you can't eat it on the day because he just said that you can eat it on the next day. But on your eye, but doesn't it say in a brisa? Echad beitz shenol to b'shavas. Echad beitz yishop nol to be in mitaltalin osa. 
that you can't touch it, the egg. You can't even touch it. How are you going to fry it on the yantif if you can't even touch it? But you can't eat it on yantif, but maybe you can fry it on yantif and then eat it on Shabbos, Nish, because you can't touch it on yantif. According to Rabbi Yochanan, you can then go and eat, swallow it, but you can't cook it on yantif because you can't touch it on yantif. Um, all right, so if it's out little side, you can't load the cut with Kazo's bias that's clean to put it on top of like a vessel. Below the smoke of a karamita, and not to back up the the bed. We see, by the way, the Rambam did not pass him like this. Now it's the sweet sweet Rashi. Ushbimche, Ushbizimche, Ushbizichne, Ushbizichne, Zagd Rashi, Fal Abaye. So it's not it's the opposite of Ushbizim. It's not his guest. It's his like, it's his balabayas. So what's the shot? What's the shot? What's the shot that this big rabbi had a balabayas? Seems to be like, what do you mean he had balabayas? So a lot of times in Am Yisrael, the minag was, was that people would come in and let a Talmud Chacham be nana from their nechassim, from their, from their property. And the Gemara says, this is the same Gemara that talks about Amen Olam Azad was Yet Ashtibud Machias. The Gemara brings another, right? Because that, that's what Shmuel says. But Rabbi Yochanan says that all the Nevim are talking about um, Yemosa Mashiach and Olam Haba, the eye didn't see it. Says the Gemara that Kola Nevim, Kulam, all of the Nevim did not. Talk about except for Hamehane Talmud Chacham Minichasav, someone who lets Talmud Chacham uses uses like get benefit from his from his property, and also Masi Pito Talmud Chacham to marry the daughter to a Talmud Chacham, which would be that's the that's the that's the great thing for a guy to marry his daughter to Talmud Chacham. Great thing for a girl to marry a Talmud Chacham. All the Nevi'im we're talking about. What a great schar and schus it would be to marry a Tamachacham or to let a Tamachacham benefit from your property. Tamachacham Atzmai, a Tamachacham himself, Ayn Loi Rasta. The eye of the Navi couldn't even see how great it's going to be. So it's, you could say this Gemara that Rav Adabar Avu Ava was living at this rich guy's house at the Balabayas. And he had these eggs, the Balabayas is like, listen, I have this big rabbi in my house, let me ask him some Shiloh. I have this egg, can I cook it? Because like, what are you talking about? Even if you say that Allah is like Rabbi Yochanan, who says you can even touch it on your tip itself to be able to cook it, to fry it, to be able to eat it on Shabbos. Let's see, Rashi. The Mayom told the Shabbos, Hayom no do, the Hayom, because there is a God, the Hayom wrote, the Hayom wrote, the Hayom today was born, he wanted to eat the next day, now it's not the men who was supposed to fry it, Hayom the now, he has Siri, he's tilted over my own, Olam, can I touch it or not? By the day, the Jitalach, what are you thinking? This is obvious to you. The Lamachar, me Hasharu. Obviously, tomorrow you can eat it on Shabbos, right? Me Shom, the Kaima, Lon Kerb Yogaran, Rav Kerb Yogaran, Lon Kerb Yogaran. So you're so sure that since the general principle is that when Rav and Rabbi Yechanan argue, the Allah is like Rabbi Yechanan, Rabbi Yechanan for its trial. So you used to assume, oh, the, the Allah is like Rabbi Yechanan, you can eat it tomorrow, so you want to fry it today and then eat it tomorrow. Me, you've been in the Asiri. It's us to even touch the egg now. Definitely Rabbi Yechanan, lo sharu, lo sayom, el legoma lamagar, to swallow it, not to fry it today, eat it tomorrow, but to swallow it tomorrow. If I yantif go to the Shabbos, if yantif fell up before Shabbos, about the Yomei law on that day, no, and even Matilto, you can't even touch it. The Hadanya says the Gemara. Now, sometimes the Hadanya is a question, but Hadanya? But here it says the Hadanya, and Rashi comes and tells us this is the important Rashi to see inside. So I'm going to see it inside. Rashi comes and tells us, Sayata. That no, this is Vahadanya bringing the Raya. Not a question, Vahadanya. Vahadanya. Sayasa. Um, so, Vahadanya, Echad Beit Sashnodu Biyotu. It's coming to help 
right? That, that you can't even be to it. Okay. Now, we should have Siyat and Nishmaya to see another amazing thing that we would not have been able to see had I not had access to a safe there. Um, a random one, but I just checked it and it's amazing. Okay. English to give us Siyat and Nishmaya. Ush Bezinichay, the Rav Papa. Oh, it's actually Rav Papa also. A Tamba Chacham out here. You know, and so they want to help a Tamba Chacham. You know, Ush Bezinichay, the Rav Papa. So our papa is like the guy who was helping him live. But Amri Laha who Gavra. Oh, because the Gemara also says that uh, another some that that is all the Naveen we're talking about is the Osta Prakmati of the Tamachakam. Three things. Someone who's Mahana Tamachakam in the Khasa, someone who's Osta Prakmati helps Tamachakam with his business, and someone who's marrying a Tamachakam. It's unbelievable. That we have all three of those categories in this year. By Tati benevolently letting it Hamachacham and and what he did helping me grow up, letting it uh, you know, help helping it live in that name in the Chasav. DVJ helping me with business, Oza Brahmati Hamachacham, and the Rebbe in Shlita about to marry Hamachacham. And all of these things is what all of the Nevi'im we're talking about all of the amazing Yeshuas of the Nevi'im we're talking about the three people in Shir today but we're all in Shir so maybe we all will have a schus of also getting the Yeshuas of what? what? all three of us are not sitting here staging Tyra 200 days in a row? staging the over here okay so Rabbah's Balabayas, and some people say no, it was just some random guy that came before Rabbah. Habu le Hanach Bayim, he had those eggs. Mishabas the Yandif, Mishabas the Yandif. Also, the Kameh comes before him. Amr le Maulam make Linhu le Machar. Can I eat these eggs tomorrow? Right there from Shabbos on to Yandif. Can I eat these eggs tomorrow? Amar lay zil ha'in navitalamach. He's like, get out of here now and come back later. The Rav lo muki amora aluya. Niyoma tova lechavre mishum shikras. Now this is extremely hard to translate, this line. So I'm going to blibe on it. And we're, in Mirti Shem, we're going to see it in Rashi. It happens to be and this is a very hard line. The Rav didn't establish Amura. What's an Amura? An Amira? So we have to see what it's talking about. On Yantif, to his friends, because of Shekhras, because what? He was drunk? You know? He has the Lemachar. Fine. He comes back the next day. Amar Lay, he says to him, Iku Ashta Ishtaloi. He's like, yo, you're here right now? Ishtaloi. Another word that we don't know without Rashi. To the tissue. Ah, Givaldik, Skyach, Gadol, Rebbitzin Bar Barchara, Rabbani Bar Bar Chiz. Skyach, Gadz. So, he says, the Amri Lach Rav Rebbe Yochanan. He's like, I forgot. Yes, so we have to see what that means. The Amri Lach, I might have said to you, right? That Rav Rebbe Yochanan, I was to like Rebbe Yochanan. So, like the guy yesterday, also, he was like the other, the the Baal Bayis of the last rabbi. He was like, yo, let me pass me Rebbe Yochanan. He's like, what? You think we pass like Rebbe Yochanan? So you can eat it even Rebbe Yochanan said you couldn't eat it. But he was like saying, like, yo, how are we passing like Rebbe Yochanan over Rav? He's like, Rav and Rabbi Yechonan are the Rabbi Yechonan, but how about Rav? But Rav says Hilchas the Kavas say the Rav Bani plus in the Kuf in the Chumra. There are three cases where the Halacha is like Rav, whether he goes the Chumra or the Kula. Okay, now we're gonna see the Chumra, Kula, the Chumra. Now we're gonna see that Maisa. So this guy, this Ushbezinha, Ushbezichne of Rav Baba, and some people say it was just some guy. And he comes into Rav Baba. 
And he says to him, these eggs, from Shabbos to Yadif, what's the deal? He comes before him and he's like, yo, can I eat them tomorrow? And he's like, yo, go now and come tomorrow. And here's the lie that we didn't know. We're going to see it in Rashi. The Rav Lo Muki Amura Amura Alu Ebi Yomtev Lechav Rebbe Shum Shechar is not Rashi. The Rav Lo Muki Amura Aluya the Lo Haya My Mit Torgaman, a translator, an Amura, a speaker. Oh. He didn't have a translator before him, which is weird. Why he's translator? Basically, we just need to translate that. Yeah, but he didn't have a translator in front of him. He was saying this drasha, maybe it was in Hebrew, and some, some guy comes over to him, right? And he like asks him a question in like Aramaic, right? And he's like, uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously he spoke Aramaic. I don't know. So why do you translate it very interesting? After the meal until tomorrow. So can I eat it? So he says, So what is that? He's like, he doesn't have a translator from Yantif to his friend, Mishum Shechris. Mishum Shechris, the Rav Uroi Ava. Rav was teaching. Kaira, Mori v'Drasha Shelo. In his Drasha, he was paskening. Because I mean, Bekrisis, but ah, it says in Krisis, v'Shikor Aser Lahoros. Someone who's drunk cannot paskin. Dichsev Yaim v'Shikar Al Teish. That you shouldn't a kohen shouldn't drink wine and beer. The Chsiv Lahoros has been in Israel. The Kohen is the one that's going to teach Am Yisrael. Dad, do you see that? The Kohen is supposed to teach Am Yisrael. While he's, but a Kohen can Lahoros drink just now when he's in the Avaida. And we learn from there that a Rebbe cannot pask in Halacha drunk. But Rav was out here on Yantif getting drunk. And give and and right? Amen, but, amen. But then someone came over to him and wanted to ask him a kasha, and he's like, he's like, come back tomorrow. And the reason he said come back tomorrow is because he didn't want to pass in alacha. I'm out here saying drushes and kabbalah and medrash, right? On yantiv, and you want to pop stock? I'm drunk out of my mind. He goes back tomorrow and he says to him, "I'm gonna like." Iku hajda is the loy to Iku hajda im ho raisi loch etmo bishikruzi. Yo, if I pass it to you yesterday when I was drunk, is the loy shachachti vishagachti. I forgot it. I made a mistake. I don't remember what I said. I was so drunk yesterday. But if I pass it, I made a mistake. I would have passed it. I would have passed it like that. It's mutter. For you to eat the egg that was born on Yadiv later on Shabbos. Because in all places, most places, vast majority of places, every single place, we pass in that is Machlokas Rabbi Yaitan on and Rav. The the halach is like Rav. The halach is like Rabbi Yochanan, sorry. Achshav, Yava, but now I realize, oh, it's a good thing that I pushed you away until today. Until I was until I was sober, because Hama Rava, because Rava says later on in the half of the base, Hilchas Kavase the Rav Adi Plus. Allah is like Rav in these three. Shamar Leinia Beitz. Now this one that we pass, we pass. He like Beitz, not like Rabbi Yochanan. Beitz says no don Shabbos, Azra and Yadiv, no don right, no don Yadiv, Azra and Shabbos, not Rabbi Yochanan. And also, um, this is due to Shabbos Yadiv Lechamei. Later on, we're going to see that. And also, stay on top of God, Goliath, Nechlav, Lahakil. So, Rav had a Rav, and argued over Yochanan to be made Kol Pasuk like Rav in that case. And also, in the in the the third one, this is two Yom Tov Rosh Hashanah. This is the third Machlokas. And so, it's a good thing that he didn't Paskin. When he was drunk, because he would have made a mistake, he would have passed him like Rabbi Yochanan, because that's what we usually pass him in the of the Rav. But oh, this is an exceptional case. It's a good thing that he didn't pass him drunk. 
Okay. Now what are we going to see? We have five minutes left. All right. Oh, Why do you say Marsha? Ah, oh, she said it seems like a little bit of guys are beautiful. So actually, there's no Marsha in this Lachaira. But there is an Ein Yankim. And so we have an opportunity to learn this Ein Yankim. And there's a big schloss. We have five minutes to see this Ein Yankim. This is the only Agarita that Ein Yaakov talks about in the entire Masechus Beitza, the first chapter. Which is crazy because it's a long chapter, the first chapter. It's like half the Masechus, first chapter, only one Agarita. Now we see in the Marsha that, like, there is a little bit of a Agarita. There's the Marsha, the, the first chapter of Beitza, not a lot. Oh, here's some. Okay, but they don't talk about it in in the in Yaakov. Okay, we have an eighth Yosef. He's in Mishum Shechra. He says the Rav Uroi Hai Mori the Drasher Shelo is basically is Drasher because Arina increases like it says increases other um Shikor other Lahoros the Chiv Yaim Shikor Taste. Shouldn't drink. Why am I reading this one? It's just Balahavdil Ulahoros. Right? You shouldn't be drunk. The real question is can a person be high when he paskins? The same question of uh, can a person be Yotse Chayav Inazel Misube Bipuraya with weed? Okay. Zila Edna, go now, he says. We have this Baina, Savior Abaina. The first thing we learn from Antik Nesikidah, be very careful in your judgment. Do not make necessarily snap decisions. This includes not only like, oh, I'm going to pass in Bedin. Everything that a person has to make a decision about. Because they remove like this, a nikra din. It's called like logic. Everything a person is trying to figure out, a person should be mitunim. A person should be slow. A person shouldn't jump to conclusions about the flat earth. So yeah, a person shouldn't jump to conclusions about the pandemic, a person shouldn't just assume that everything they're telling us is true. A person shouldn't think about it. That's called being misunim b'din. First, think by yourself. Right? Everything that's bothering him, try to settle it. The coach again, me dear, that's a Michael, I miss Dabras, is hungry. I share Adia, Ale, El Amoach, oh, maybe ate so much food and then like he starts like farting in his brain like the aid like the vapors start going up to his brain vapors I don't know yeah so it will confuse him until when do we Yoshim Bidin says of Jesus Azman Hasuda until you have to eat but if you're starving then it maybe it's hard to to just to figure out what's even going on. Umar of Ada, my crow, what's the buzzer? This live Ilaha Erez, Shev Malha, Nar, Visarecha, Baboker, Yochu. You have no, you have no land that the king is like, is like being like shaken and, and, and pushed around, and his servants in the morning they're eating. He under Ilya, the Mishpat. What's up? One minute. One. After the eating, we go to the law. Mishpah meuchal. Ah, meuchal is a little crumb. You do the you do the din before the mishpat, I guess. Before the din. The lechein never did a leboker mishpat. The kol aroa the iud goes there who did the mishpat that am ki biyos adam beizis balus mishputs eno ki ishahu. His brain makes him 
like someone that he's not. As we also add, as we say, because of the egg moed ani misharim as boat shemilas ani mutares extra eloradza ki egg the evchars man muhan ladun to pick a good time to think about things. Whatever ki kena radzo bemilas moed alzman have you had ani by the good time moed is the right time proper time. You got ani me sharim es boat ani who has shofet ani who velo acher Hashem is the judge. But the chayin says Rav nishma Rav bimenu lama atur Papa learned it the building horos b'nei Israel is much higher la chush the shechras maybe he drank a little bit he 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 chosh maybe a little drunk but he said okiach amai says that kitov asa good to have our whole brain it's good not to be. It's good to, when we're trying to figure out what's going on. We're trying to make decisions. It's good. We got to we be clear-headed when we're making decisions in Psak. And so maybe also we should be Zoga to be clear-headed for other decisions. But we should be Zoga to really think about and think about what's going on. Shkayach, Tati, and DBJ, and Revitzin, Shlita on uh, Shir number 200. Amir Tashem, 201 tomorrow.